735 this morning on uh, KFYO Mornings with Dave King and Matt Martin, 735 a.m. and 73 degrees. And guess what? It is that time, that, that thing that we do every Thursday. One of our very favorite people. What's his name? Jerry Reynolds. <laughs> the yeah, car pro. Good morning, Jerry. Hello, Dave. Good morning, Matt. Good morning. How are you? Hey, doing great. Just doing great. Uh, been tooling around this week. Okay, now let's set the stage. We remember what I had last week. Yes. The McLaren. Okay. It's, it's a beautiful car. It's on your website right now. It, it is. And the video is up as well in the, in the written review. Uh, so back to reality this week. I've got the 2017 Buick LaCrosse, which is Buick's large flagship sedan. And it's all new for 2017. And I got to tell you guys, this is a doggone nice car. Um, it's large. It's got a ton of interior room, headroom, leg room, back seat room, you name it, it's got it. Huge trunk. Uh, but a fairly fuel efficient car for its size. 32 miles to the gallon out on the highway. That's pretty good. Uh, it is good, and especially for the size of this car. But I tell you, the most impactful thing is, and, and Buick's been doing this for a few years, but they really got it right with this one. The, the interior quietness of this car is as good as I've ever been in, and, and that's saying a lot. I mean, you just you can't hear the engine. You can't hear any outside noise. Uh, Buick went to great lengths, including putting thicker glass in the car to keep noise out, not to mention lots of heavy insulation, of course. But all in all, uh, if, if, you're, if somebody's looking for a large sedan, this car, fully loaded, is got a sticker price at forty six grand, uh, which is a lot of money. But, yeah, I put it, you know, I was thinking on other cars that compared with it, and I've driven cars that were $20,000 more that weren't as nice as this one and, and certainly didn't perform as well. Uh, so, you know, I think we tend to think Buick, of Buick as a senior citizen car, but this car may change that. Uh, even though it is large, it's very stylish, and they've done a lot of changes to the outside. They even got, got away from the old traditional Buick waterfall grill that they've used for so many decades. I mean, this car, this car looks more like a Volvo than a Buick. Uh, real pretty car. I'll have that review up on Monday. Hmm. Mm. It sounds nice. What color is the one you drove? It's a dark blue color, uh, and it's kind of got a tan two-tone interior. And uh, I tell you, it's, it, it's really pretty. There's a couple things that I love on this car. It's got the back seat reminder. So if you open a back door and then close it, when you get to your next destination, it's going to remind you to look in the back seat. And we know how many how many child deaths there have been in the United States, and a lot of them have been in Texas where kids have been left inside cars, and this, this eliminates that. Yeah. And the other feature other feature I love is, is and I've, I've had this on several GM cars, but it's called Teen Driver. So you, if you're going to put your teen behind the wheel of your car, you hand them an auxiliary key, and when they get in, you have set up to where they can't, they can't start the car unless they got their seatbelt on. You can limit the amount, the speed that they can drive. You can uh, limit the amount of uh, volume on the radio, for instance, to keep them from blaring the radio. Uh, you can stop them from you can stop them from uh, texting and driving completely. And at the end of the ride, when you get your car back and you use your key the next time, a report card comes up on the dash and tells you how they drove, if they made any emergency stops, oh, if man. they made any quick maneuvers. I mean, if you're a teen, you're, you, you ain't going to have no fun in one of these cars. Oh, Ford, geez. teenage, man. I, I had an old clunker Ford, so Ford truck, so that's what yeah. I drove around. I yeah, have never I, heard of anything like that. That's that's yeah, fantastic. Pretty cool. pretty cool stuff. And uh, I tell you, it, it could save lives. I've, I'm always big talking about uh, teen driver safety and driver distraction and the fact that kids never know. They just they they just don't realize how fast wrecks happen until they have one. Yeah. And unfortunately, too many times they're seriously hurt. The other article I want to call attention to that's on our website at carprousa.com that I wrote this week talks about automatic braking systems. And these things are getting 
very popular in cars today. Uh, in fact, every car by 2022 will have a system to automatically brake you uh, in, in case you're not in case you're not paying attention. But I, I go into a lot of detail in this article about what to expect and what not to expect. The because car people at the manufacturer level they're marketers and they make these things sound like oh you don't even have to touch the brake all you got to do is is uh, you know this, the system will take over and do it for you and, and that's not really the case uh, it will slow you in a lot of cases which is good but a lot of the systems there's two different kind of systems some of them will stop completely most of them today are designed just to slow you down to lessen the impact. So if you're going to have a wreck, you're just not going to have as bad a wreck as what you thought you were going to have because your car has the system. So I think people ought to take a, take a minute and read that if, if they're in the market for a car. It'll help them, and I encourage them to ask questions about how does this system work on this car. And uh, so, But with something not as well get used to because we're all going to have it. Everything by 2022 will have it. Yeah, And also I noticed on your website uh, – Top selling mid sized SUVs year to date. Yeah, I've been I've been doing that a lot lately. Uh, people love lists, and I think there's safety in numbers. And so I, I took the most popular segment out there right now, which is mid size. Ford Explorer dominates that uh, with the Jeep Grand Cherokee coming up in second, followed by Toyota Highlander, Jeep Wrangler in fourth place. That was a bit of a surprise. And then Subaru Outback. No now, where, where does the Highlander rank? Third. Highlander ranks number three. Hmm. And that, That's and what I, I have. I have a Highlander, and I love it. It's, it's, just, it's the right size. It's not a Tahoe size, and it's not the, the little Murano size, you know. I agree. I, and it, it's got more interior room. Yes. And Toyota, Toyota makes it so easy to get people to the third row seat. And I drive so many of these big SUVs that it's tough to get to the third row. And once you get there, unless you're putting kids back there, you know, there's no room for real adults, and Highlander is an exception to that. You can put seven full-size adults in a Highlander, and everybody be comfortable. You made a good choice. Yeah. Mm, yeah. All right. Well, um, Jerry, we run out of time, but uh, just want to remind people that you're on on Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. here on KFYO 95.1 FM, 790 a.m., and your website's carprousa.com. Thanks for coming on, Jerry. Good talk to you guys.